Good afternoon and welcome to Pit Lane here in Monza where things are heating up. We're about 15 minutes away from the start of FP1 and the sun is very much out here and the cars are starting to go through their warm-up process so what a beautiful day. Hello and welcome, it's Duncan once again here on the WEC channel giving you a little bit of an insight and letting you see what's going on in the pit boxes. Look how busy this garage is. We've got Racing Team Netherlands and Real Team Racing sharing a pit box. That's quite tight in there, as are the depths of Proton cars. So everybody's been out and done their pit stop challenges. They've made sure that they're warmed up and ready to go. Inter Europol Racing. Well, they've had a couple of great runs. Alex Brundle and Renger van der Zand out doing a track walk this morning and as ever heading towards the Monza Banking, the famous Monza Banking here. We made up with Paul Dalalana on the exit of the Ascari Curves. And everybody was on full walking mode around the circuit today. United Autosports just doing a few final checks on the 22 car. Phil Hansen, a veteran of Monza now, and he's, uh, well, what is he? He's, he's done four Le Mans, this will be his fourth Le Mans, so Phil Hansen in the 22 car. Let's see if he gets on out in FP1 today. And what these guys will be doing for FP1 is they'll just be bedding themselves into the circuit. Driver swap's getting ready here. Practice, practice, practice. That's what, it's, that's what it's all about for these guys. Tom Gamble, Ben Barker, and Mike Wainwright in the four. That car will be, think of that, think of the heat soak that that paint job's going to, going to take in. ARC Bratislava here once again in the Ligier. And just next to them, Rinaldi Racing. Welcome Rinaldi Racing in their Ferrari 488 GTE Evo. Here for this weekend, new to the WEC paddock. And the team looking, looking like they're ready for all the action here. Nice waves from them, it's good to see. Ciao, ciao. Right next door to them, we've got the Jota cars. Now we usually get quite a lot of love for Jota. Ant Davidson at the very back of the garage just now. Gets himself into his suit. And yeah, the 38 car and the 28 car. Both ready to go. Stoffel van Dorn makes his way through from the back. Gives us a little wave. Just is a quiet chat with the mechanics. Things are very relaxed at the start of free practice one as we have a little look inside the Porsche GT team. The 91 car, Jimmy Bruni was at the press conference earlier on and he's uh, quite jubilant about this weekend. Looking forward to maybe possibly silencing the Tifosi. Let's see how he gets on. Speak of the man himself. Jimmy gives us a little, little smile and a wave as he goes into the garage there. There's nothing quite like a home round. He does like a home round. The 92 car though, you know, Kevin Estra has been sensational to this point in the year. Can they keep the momentum rolling going through Monza and towards Le Mans? Glickenhaus have two cars this weekend. A full garage here. Jim will be delighted to see both these cars in the pit box, ready to go. Pippo Durrani, Gustavo Menezes and Olivier Pla, the second car Drivers with Duma, Milio and Westbrook. Same guys who had the car at Porto Mayo. Project One, a few pit stops for those guys. And right next door to them, another new car to the WEC paddock. Not a new team though, we know the team very well. Risi Competizione, great to see them here. Not in Ferrari in the GT class anymore, they're LMP2 this weekend. Cullen Jarvis and the Tsar. That will be a fast team. The American flag proudly displayed on the front of the Risi car. It really is a stunning car. The colours just work so well. But just look how tight the pit lane actually is here. Look at the gap between the guys in the Risi car and Project One. That's not a lot of room there. Oh, pit stop guns in the background. Iron Lynx 60 car and the 85 car, both very much still in their garages. As we have a look over, we're getting waves from the back of the garage. That's always nice. It's always a friendly, friendly atmosphere in there. 
And then we come towards the AF Corsa and look at this home round for these guys. Chetila Racing after a, a victorious Portimao. <coughs> Things went very well for the team at Portimao and they're really excited about being here, their home race. Can they make it two out of two? Can they get a double here for the Chetila 488 GTE Am car? We caught up with Jan Magnussen earlier on. We were out doing our track walk. The high class car. Yes, he's looking forward to Monza, but he's already looking ahead towards what he sees as a bigger job when he drives that car with his son Kevin at Le Mans. A little bit of a shutter door problem there for the, the Kaiser AF Corsa. The 51 and the 71. Hiding away at the back of the garage, Alessandro Perguidi. We give him a wave and he waves back to us. Very good. If you want coffee, that is the place to go. And these two guys, well, they want to come out from Monza, towards Monza, sorry. Very much fighting. Almost at the end of the pit lane, and you can see the track disappears away into the distance, the long run down towards the first you came. Thomas Flor, Francesco Castellacci and Giancarlo Fisichella in the 54 car. And this is another new car, Inception Racing. Brilliant to have them here. Very bright colour scheme. Our commentators will be looking at that. And a, a nice few waves from the guys at the back of the garage as well. We spoke to Pablo Montoya in the press conference as well. Looking forward to getting going and just in time to see this come out from the garage. The Toyota Hypercar. The GRO10 Hybrid. Car number eight onto its marks. Car seven still in the garage. Stunning, stunning piece of equipment. Inside that car, Sebastian Buemi will be starting the practice session. So there we go, that's a quick look at the pit lane for you here at Monza. We will be back on Facebook with a post FP1. Until then, thank you very much and we'll see you later.